Okay, uh, welcome back, guys. So, I had thought that if you use 0.14 as pi, delta math is totally fine. It is not. So, here's how you can um, not have any weird rounding errors when you're doing assignment. So, first of all, um, the steps are the same. You want to find out what the area is, and then once you know what the area is, uh, use the proportion. But you want to, if you don't have pi on your calculator at home, uh, then what you want to do is use the calculator that comes in Delta Math. So to do that here, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what the area is. So it says AB is 12. Um, that means that area is equal to 12 squared times pi. 12 squared is 144. It's 100 times pi. Now to find out what that is, um, in here, in. go to the calculator, it's up here in the upper right, I can enter 144 pi, and it'll tell me what that is down here. So I'm just going to write that value down so I don't forget it. So 452, write down 39. There we go. Now I can continue with the rest of the problem as normal. So that's the area. Uh, I want to find out what the sector area is. So sector area over. <laughs> Girl. Uh, 452.39. That's going to be equal to the angle, which is 74. For the total angles in a square. And then from here, it's the same as what I taught you before. So I'm going to cross multiply. So one side, I'm going to. Um, 74 times 360, or sorry, 74 times 452. So that turns into, yeah, 33,000. 476.6. That's going to be equal to the other cross product, which is 160 times the surface area. And then if I do that number, oh, I need to. It's in my. If I do that number uh, divided by. Oh, automatically. All right, so now I have to do that number I just got divided by um, 360. So. 33.76.6 divided by. And so it's 92.99. If you had just used uh, 3.14 for pi, pretty sure you would have been off since this is asking you to round to the nearest hundredths. So let's make sure that you guys the correct advice here. And there we go. So calculator is up here in the right, and the pi symbol is down here by the decimal point. So apologies for that. That's my fault. Um, hope this gets you guys back on track.